What's up guys, Man Cave Collectibles coming back at you today with a quick news video on just a few things that's kind of come out or been announced over the last week or two. Um, the first thing up that I want to talk about is a reveal that uh, came out today. Uh, we have finally got some inbox images of our Turtles in Time Series 1 uh, from NECA. Uh, so you can see here we've got Donatello, Leonardo, Foot Soldier, uh, Slash. Uh, these do come with the classic uh, TMNT logo uh, up at the top of the box if you notice that which is the first time NECA's done that I did see they're going to continue using that logo going forward even on their cartoon style um, so that's pretty cool that's pretty cool these are going to be available on specialty shelves pretty soon uh, they can be pre-ordered Big Bad Toy Store $89.99 for the set of four these are due out uh, next month uh, so pretty neat if you're into that go ahead and get your pre-orders in um, packaging looks fantastic. Next thing I want to talk about, uh, Randy this is kind of staying in the NECA world here. Uh, Randy from NECA tweeted out last week um, that there are going to be additional uh, Rocksteady and Bebop 2-pack shipping out along with some Shredder and Crane 2-packs. Uh, those are going to be in the February-March time frame. So that'll be really cool. Uh, give folks an opportunity to hopefully get that Bebop and Rocksteady if you didn't. Uh, and then also the Shredder and Krang 2-pack, uh, which you'll be able to pick up if you did not get him in the SDCC exclusive 8-pack um, that come out uh, a couple years back. So good opportunity for folks there. Uh, another tweet as well in the TMNT NECA line. Um, we're going to have some more info coming out on the Metalhead, Foot Soldier, and the Android Krang body. These are going to be like an Ultimate slime, so I'm, I'm assuming they'll come in individual boxes. Um, that Android Krang body is going to be hot as fire when it comes out. So we'll all be trying to hunt that thing down. We've all been waiting on a good toy to represent the Android Krang body for a long time. So hopefully we'll get some information on that soon as far as when those will be out. I would assume at least Metalhead and the Foot Soldiers will see this calendar year. Um, the Android Crane body, we'll see, yet to be determined. Moving on, Thundercats. We got some uh, pictures showing us uh, kind of a size comparison of each of the four figures from Wave 2. Uh, so we can see there that uh, Moom Ra is standing about an inch taller um, than the rest of the guys, which is perfect. So Super 7 is going to try to uh, make sure their scale is, is set properly. Um, I'm assuming, too, Wave 1 is $179 for the four figures. Uh, those are releasing in April. Wave 2 is a $194 price tag for the four figures at Big Bad Toy Store. They're going to be com coming out in the fourth quarter. I'm assuming the size difference in Mumra is the difference in price, uh, just due to him being a bigger figure. So I think that's why we're seeing that. Next, uh, this is more speculation than news. Um, seeing a lot of rumblings of a G.I. Joe toy line from Hasbro. Uh, they're talking about a six inch, possible six inch toy line. Uh, I would assume this would be kind of in the Marvel Legends style, um, which would be really cool. Um, if it is, it would put them in that 20 to $25 price point. Uh, you know, the G.I. Joe Snake Eyes movie, uh, they've come out and said, okay, production started on that in Japan. Uh, we're looking at releasing toward the end of this year sometime in the fourth quarter releasing the movie i think they've got it set like for an october release um so that's got a lot of the hype built uh typically with a movie we get figures so i'm sure that's where a lot of this uh speculation is coming from the speculation is that our wave one set would be snake eyes duke destro scarlet and roadblock so that would be really cool uh to be able to pick those up in a six inch kind of hasbro marvel legend style um, collection that would that would be nice again there's been no confirmation from Hasbro on this we're hoping maybe Toy Fair next month we'll get more information so we'll see there Mezco 112 uh, gave us some information today on their Batman 1989 figure so this is something that was shown a while back a long while back actually teased and then kind of went away for a while and now they're saying that pre-orders will open up tomorrow on the Mezco website for the Batman 1989 112 collective figure. Um, so the actual reveal of this guy came at Toy Fair in 2019. 
and I'll throw up a picture here. This picture is courtesy of Toy Ark because uh, it was kind of tough to find some pictures of him out there online. Um, so he looks great. Uh, I'm a little worried about the cape. The cape looks a little weird to me uh, for some reason. I, I, I don't know. It could just be the picture or um, maybe even that that was, that was more of a prototype type of cape. So that could change. Um, we're looking at about $110 uh, with a early fourth quarter release uh, for him. So if you're interested in him, get your pre-orders in tomorrow. Uh, last thing here, uh, just real quick. I'm a Transformers fan, so I want to throw this in. Flame Toys Model Kit Devastator. So I've built most of the model kits that have already come out. They're a lot of fun. If you've never tried one, you got to check it out. Um, they're, they're, they're fun to put together. This is a 7-inch uh, non-transforming, non-combining combiner. Uh, so Flame Toys released this official image of the kit fully assembled. I think it looks good. It definitely has kind of an anime IDW style to it. But it has a good look. I, I like it. I think it'll be fun to put together. I'm looking forward to picking it up. Uh, those are available uh, for pre-order Big Bad Toy Store, $89.99 uh, with the release. It says this month, so I would assume it'd be this month at the latest, probably in February. So just a quick overview of some things that I found interesting over the last uh, week, week and a half in new and toy news. If you guys enjoyed this video, click like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.